hands down, one of the greatest duels I've ever been a part of in my entire life. Today's video is one of glory and conquering, and quite honestly, one of the greatest most fulfilling duels I have ever had in my life. Hit the subscribe button, let's go. So here we are. Pendulums versus Altergeist. I lost the die roll. Hang's pretty good. I lost the die roll. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when you lose a die roll? Sit there and cry? Sit there and give up? Look at what he has. Look at what he has. Valor, multi faker, and permanence? Judgment, judgment. Double judgment. Impermanence. Faker, Valor, and a protected Faker. Five negates, and you know what? And a protection. There's only one thing I can say to this. You never give up to the likes of Impermanence, Double Judgment, multi faker Valor. You push through, you persevere, and you win, no matter the cost. This is the type of stuff I live for. You challenge me, let's go, baby, because you never give up. You put up Servant, hoping you'll negate that. No, Mastery comes up, you get two free counters. Yeah, I'm, let's go. I got to get the counter. I need Servant to resolve to stop that faker. I know he is a faker. I got to get the Servant up before he sees it coming. So little by little, you do your place. Corner guy, I don't, I, he could have a ghost soaker as well. But I base my boy Kill Switch, my number one tested partner, Santiago. When I play him, he always has ghost soaker when he had altar guy. So I'm like, you know what? Let's get out the chronograph and protect it. I know I have a shrine, but Dark Room's not my goal here. My goal is plain and simple, Destrudo. I want Destrudo to come out, and I want him to interrupt the Destrudo because I have a feeling I could get Dark Room out with Electro. I don't need it to resolve right away. Let's go. He saw him judgment in the chronograph. Why? Because he doesn't want Servant to get the counters. I would not have saw him judgment in the chronograph, but at the same time, if I brought out Jackal or Endymion, the saw him judgments couldn't it couldn't do anything. I don't know what he has, but just trying to look from his perspective. And yes, this is him with uh, old Triff, jokingly, and uh, yeah, Dark Magician Girl. Okay, all right. So he brings out Faker. I'm like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, next I put up a Servant. Why do I put up a Servant? Now I'm guaranteed he's gonna if he. Gets rid of the Endymion, okay? Let's say, for example, he gets rid of the Servant. That's fine. Why? Because I have enough counters to still put everything I need on it. What's he do? He bounces it. Good. That's exactly what I was expecting. Now, Allure. Solid Judgment's Allure. Why? He feels safe. He has a Permanence and a Valor, and he feels safe. But you should never be feel safe when you face Pendulums, ever. Why? Because Pendulums are the best deck. You should never feel safe. I would not have some judgment in that Allure, definitely not. But he was scared, I tried to get more counters, and the second this was all he loses. Because if I brought out uh, Endymion and negated the Impermanence, uh, again, I don't know he has Impermanence, he should have actually put it on the uh, scale, uh, scale area, he loses right away. But he wanted to make sure Servant never resolves, hence the judgment. I'm like, okay, fine. Next, Shrine. Get baited, let's go Shrine. Dark Worm, Gates here. I wanted this to be a Distrudo, but in a situation where it could resolve, I'm eh, fine with that. Dark Worm effect, he activates Valor. I'm like, okay, Valor, okay. There's one last back row left. Unless it's a Solemn, we win. Normal, Electro. I just pray it's not another Solemn. If it's a Solemn, he's gonna be at five. If it's a Strike or another Judgment, he'd be at 500 or 1,000, and next turn I'll just attack and win. So you don't have to win right away. But, effect, Impermanence. I'm like, there's no. First of all, I thought I was hoping that was gonna be some brick, but whatever. Five negates. Four plus a faker. So I'm like, you know what? We're good. Why? Because pendulum summon. We baited five interruptions without even wasting a pendulum summon. Pendulum summon, guard dragon combo, triple burst. You go vortex. Vortex bounce it. Activates effect negate because I thought it could stop battle or uh, not just effect. Attack for game. Never give it. Never, never, never. Never give in. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Now we're going on to game two. Uh, game two, I'm like, okay, there's no way he opens up broken again. I got Pen Call, Dark Worm. Server won't resolve, but it's fine. We don't have a real high skill if Pen Call gets interrupted. Okay, wait, stop. And then look. <laughs> game two, double judgment. Cap, why you do this to me? Cap's my boy. Cap's my boy. But why do you do this to me, Cap? Double judgment? We gotta deal with Melusk, Melusik, Ghost Soaker, Valor, Faker. Okay, great. Another five interruptions. What the hell are we gonna do? Are we gonna give up? Are we gonna sit there and cry? 
I'm going to sit there and cry about it. I'm going to make sure our tears mean something instead of sitting there defeated like a chump. We're champions. We're not champions, okay? Let's go, Trev 2019. I'm so hyped for this. Mike. i got to prove him wrong. It looks like I'm going to lose. He's calling Cash my boy. But Cash been calling Pendulum shit all day, all week. He's been calling Pendulum shit. He posts says all the time. Going second, Pendulums are shit. Well, hey, what better way to prove that you're wrong than winning through five negates twice? Well, we go foolish. Sorry, Pen called Dark. Let me let it resolve. I would have negated that right away, but he was definitely scared of what happened last game. He felt he interrupted everything way too quickly, and he felt, now, you know what? I feel safe. I got five interruptions. Let me save it before when it actually matters. That's how he feels like it now. So, Dark Worm, we go Pit Poison. Pit first, hoping he doesn't negate. Pit, now, get rid of one in the back row. I'm like, okay. Gets rid of one. He goes over and not knowing that Pen called, but you gotta know your cards, Cap. Pen called protects it from Ghost Ogre. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Now, gets ronda one judgment. Let's go. Next, normal summon time gazer, Dark Room Electro. I should have Nightmare Phoenix here. That's what I should have done. Knowing I got solemn judgment to up the ass last game, I should have Nightmare Phoenix, pop this, pendulum summon my entire hand, win the duel. But I didn't for some odd reason. I'm like, okay, whatever. I pen summon three, harmonizing a double Dark Room, and I get absolutely cocked by solemn judgment. But he's now at 4,000, and then he summons Faker and a resolution. I'm just like, god damn it. Uh, bounces Electro, okay. Summon, attacks. He's scared of purple poison. I'm okay, that's fine. Dark Worm, pop. I can't do much. I know that he has lots of interruptions going on. I'm okay, I'm gonna Pendulum Summon. Is it gonna. Uh, he doesn't solemn judgment it. I go Electro. I want my end play is uh, Yazzie. I want a Yazzie here. Uh, sorry. And then he make this a dragon. Uh, because I was gonna do some guard dragon plays, a dragon call color target electro. Then he orders the dragon collar. I'm like, god damn it. I was gonna now then electro pop the collar to special to get servant to my hand and then start utilizing servant in the scale. Uh get lucky with a draw. I couldn't resolve servant. If I pop collar, get servant, shrine for Strudo, draw a spell card, and I couldn't get servant to resolve. Uh, but he appear orders this uh when I because gonna make this a dragon, that's fine. Faker comes out, which makes everything even worse. And bounces the Electro, now I can't do anything. God damn it, how am I gonna win this? Go little by little, you know, you never give up. You never give up. Your opponent might misplay, your opponent might just put, take it easy because like he has a full board, he has such a great setup here. But I also know he has Imperial Order, and I know Imperial Order will little by little drop his life points. He saw him judgment it for 4,000. I attack for some damage, you gotta do as little damage as you can, little by little. That's what you do with, with Alter Geist, okay? Little by little. Imperial Order, I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm just not gonna activate anything. He's gonna get rid of Dragon Pit, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Little by little, little by little, I'm gonna get rid of as much as I can until he's left with almost nothing. So on my turn, he's gonna get 1400. So my goal was to do 700 damage. Sorry, 1300. So my goal was to do 600 damage. So if I do 600, Order will kill him on his turn. But I couldn't find a way to do 600. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do 300. Little by little, I knew it was gonna bring something out. But like little by little, let's do some some damage. Let's do as much as I can. There's still only one faker, so I'm trying to get rid of the faker, uh, so I can never deal with it again unless he gets rid of the continuous trap. I want to get do little damage, little by little. I attack. I attack 300 damage. Really bounce. Really not. Uh, he lets it go because he wants to save it for an electro. I'm okay, that's great. I just say go. <laughs> I do nothing. He's at 300 life points now because of order. Now I know on my chain, all I gotta do is 300. In a deck that only has one multi faker, and you already used two silk quests, and it seems like there was no concurry. So I didn't know why there was no concurry going around, but he sided out concurry for more pendulum hate because this is after game two. I didn't drop my Denkos or reboots, but that's fine. But you know what? I'm cool with that. He signed out for more uh, Pendulum Hate, hence the order, judgments, etc. And you know what? Like I said, you never give up. There's no concurrent. It's a grind game. All two guys seem great in grind game, but really, with one faker, they're not. So you keep going here, little by little. Look at the situation now. There's only one multi-faker. Imperial Order is gone. What do you know now? All my spells could resolve. All my spells could resolve. I, I had no magicians left in the deck, so I was hoping he was going to stop in lines. He's Because I can't resolve pen calls. He stopped in lines. I allure. I probably should have used Shrine first. But he got rid of the Allure because with the Allure, I could have uh, maybe drawn into Reboot or something. Shrine, Dark Room, Dark Room Effect. He's scared. He's scared now. Put Dark Room in scale. Pen 2. I attack. But this has to go into attack mode. And I attack and win the duel. Why? Because he's at 300. What can he do? There's only one multi faker now. There's only one multi faker. And victory is ours, baby. You never give up. Never, never, never. You never give in. No, no matter what, no matter what. Now I don't know who said this quote. Let me tell you guys 
a very beautiful quote here. One of the most beautiful quotes I have literally ever heard in my entire life, okay? Let me see if I remember how it went, okay? I firmly believe in every man's finest hour, the greatest fulfillment in all that he holds dear is that moment when he has worked his heart out in a good cause and lies exhausted on the field of battle, victorious.